Heinz ketchup has become ubiquitous since hitting the market in 1876. And when you've been making perfect ketchup for over 140 years, there's bound to be some rather juicy secrets and strange facts out there, right? Here's everything you don't know about your favorite ketchup. Based on the 57 variety slogan on Heinz ketchup bottles, you might think you have 57 different types of ketchup to choose from. But you'd be wrong about that. Truth be told, it's a completely arbitrary number. It was chosen by Henry Hines in 1896, 20 years after he first started selling his legendary ketchup. By then, his company was selling over 60 products, including pickles, olive oil, spaghetti, and peanut butter. One day, as Hines rode a train through New York, he noticed a sign that advertised 21 varieties of shoes. And it stuck with him, a number that could represent, that would stick in the American mind and would say something about his product. Does it seem like your Heinz ketchup takes an excruciatingly long time to go from bottle to hot dog? Maybe you've been pouring ketchup wrong your entire life. What's Ernest doing now? He's waiting for the ketchup. He's what? Hey, we don't wait for ketchup. You don't? Hope you and your ketchup have a real nice time. According to Live Science, you need to gently coax your ketchup out of the bottle. First, shake it to distribute the solid particles and ensure an even flow. While the cap is still on, turn the bottle upside down. Finally, tilt it to a 45-degree angle, uncap, and give the bottom a few firm taps. Trust us on this one. Their ketchup's coming out a lot smoother than ours does. <laughs> That's not good manners. Heinz accounts for around 50% of all the ketchup in American kitchens. Each year, 650 million bottles of Heinz ketchup are sold in 140 countries worldwide. That's 1,000 bottles a minute, and it results in over $1.5 billion in annual sales. Then there's the single-serve packets. The company sells 11 billion packets each year, which works out to two packets for every person on the planet. Of course, making all this ketchup requires a whole lot of tomatoes. Heinz uses over 2 million tons of tomatoes each year, making them the biggest buyer of tomatoes in the whole wide world. In fact, if you put all of Heinz tomato processing trucks end-to-end, -end, the line would stretch almost 900 miles. Heinz caused quite a stir on April 2018 with one little tweet. Want mayo chop in stores? 500,000 votes for yes, and we'll release it to you, saucy Americans! The tweet sent shockwaves through numerous local news outlets on what we're presuming was an extremely slow news day. I actually like having ketchup and mayonnaise and even Separate. mustard. Yes. And if it gets mixed together, like, oh, yummy goodness. But I don't feel like I need <laughs> You need it. As you probably know, Ed Sheeran has a lot of tattoos. And if you look closely, you'll see a familiar ketchup label on his left bicep. Yes, the singer loves Heinz that much. He even brings his own stash of Heinz ketchup while he's on tour. A source told The Sun that Ed's made no secret of his Heinz ketchup obsession and has run out of patience with going to places that don't serve it while he's touring. He's made it a duty of key members of his entourage to carry a bottle wherever he goes so he can have it with everything from his morning sausage buddy to upmarket dinners. Sheeran is, in fact, so obsessed with Heinz that he even starred in a commercial for the product. It was an idea I had for an advert, and now we're making the advert. This is the first time I've done a condiment. Seeing an opportunity here, a gelato shop in Ireland decided to create a ketchup-infused treat in honor of Sheeran as he was gearing up for a concert nearby. The shop even offered a freebie to concertgoers, writing on Instagram, We decided to welcome Ed Sheeran back to Ireland by creating his favorite flavor, tomato ketchup. Drop in for a free ketchup cone if attending the concert. The gelato was made with real ketchup and even topped with a drizzle for good measure. We'll take an extremely hard pass, but then again, we're not Ed Sheeran. In just about any fast food restaurant, you're likely to see plenty of packets of Heinz, with one glaring omission, McDonald's. In 2013, McDonald's announced it would be cutting ties with Heinz as their ketchup provider, ending a decades-long relationship. The fast food chain whipped up the following prepared statement for the Huffington Post. We value the relationship we've maintained with Heinz for more than 40 years. As a result of recent management changes at Heinz, we have decided to transition our business to other suppliers over time. Hard to say what management changes they're referring to, but we have some ideas. Turns out that the former, uh, the, the guy who became CEO of Heinz used to be the CEO of Burger King. Meanwhile, not many folks give a flying French fry about any of this. Nice, it, it made no difference to me. I still go to McDonald's, nothing ain't changed, the burgers ain't changed, the fries ain't changed, so. 
I'm just gonna stick at it. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite foods are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!